So how do we calculate the molecular mass of iron to nitrate? Well, it's a fairly straightforward process. I've created a nice little table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the elements I see in the compound. So I see iron, Fe, I see nitrogen, N, and I see O, oxygen. Then we're gonna do the number of atoms. We're gonna write them down. That's where the subscripts come into play. So if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of a particular element, that means that there is only one of them. So one iron, nitrate, also there's one but, 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 nitrogen is tied into this nitrate polyatomic anion, and we have two of them. So therefore we'd have two nitrogens. In other words, just simply take the subscript of nitrogen, multiply it by the outer subscript to find the total. Then we're gonna do the same process for oxygen. It's three, but there's an outer subscript of two, so just simply multiply those two together. And that works out to be a total of six. Then we're simply gonna multiply those number of atoms by the mass of the element. Where do we find the mass? To the periodic table, to the back cave. I don't know why that spurred that memory, but okay. Anyway, iron's mass is gonna be 55.85, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is gonna be 16. So let's write them in. So this is 55.85, nitrogen is gonna be 14.01, and oxygen is 16. Then we're gonna find the total mass of each element in the compound, and all we have to simply do is just multiply the row on a cross. All right, so the total mass of iron here is gonna be 55.85, easy peasy. Total mass of nitrogen here is gonna be 28.02, and the total mass of oxygen there is gonna be 96. So to find the total mass of the entire compound now, that looks like 96 point W, huh? should be two zeros. Now to find the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add up this column. And when we do that, we find a total mass here of about 179.87. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units here are in terms of AMU, atomic mass units. That's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.